Hi folks, most of you know me as Indy Truck Davy. I'm out the truck and in my office, but I'm, a, I'm actually David McGuinness. I'm reasonably well known in the independence movement. My wife and I travel around the country, going to marches and rallies, we run independence Facebook groups, that sort of thing. Now, what does the Declaration of Broth mean to me? Um, well, the Declaration of Broth is quite a wide thing. Um, and it has many meanings. Scotland being recognised as a nation internationally. Scotland's right to self-determination being recognised internationally. Um, and, of course, Robert being accepted by the papacy, which was the highest authority in the world at the time as being Scotland's king. But for me, and you've probably picked this up, Mandy Truck Davy um, posts the most important part of the declaration of a broth for me is the transfer of sorry, too quiet apparently, is the transfer of from our nobles to the people. The recognition that the people make the country and know the establishment. The notion of popular sovereignty. That for me is the most important part of the Declaration of our Growth. Right? It puts us the people in the driving seat. It makes us the people sovereign. And as such, if we wish to achieve anything, then nothing, nothing can stop us. We just have to collectively come together and make it happen. Now, when it comes to independence, when it comes to independence, then um, in order to achieve that, we only have to come together. Because we the people are sovereign. And we the people make the decisions. Now because we are now in a democracy, that uh, entails a vote. A referendum. But for me, the most important part is the declaration of growth, which we are celebrating today, is popular sovereignty. It is the fact that we the people are the country. Doesn't it matter if you're an old Scot, an indigenous Scot or a new Scot, when you get here, when you put your roots down here, then you, like the rest of us, are sovereign. And we the people will decide our future. Not Westminster, not Holyrood, not the Queen, but we, the people. So for me, the most important part of the declaration of a growth is the transfer of sovereignty from the establishment, our nobles at the time, the church, to us, the people. And having that accepted internationally is absolutely wonderful. And it has went forward from there. Democracies have, democracies have from our declaration of a growth. And the notion that the people are sovereign has spread across the planet from that declaration of a growth. So on this auspicious day, the greatest day in the history of our nation, I have on my Society of William Wallace um, fleece and t-shirt, and I have my Society of William Wallace whiskey glass. Behind me is the battle flag of Robert K. 
King Robert and the flag of your nation. And I have a bloody damn fine Arcadian whiskey here. A single malt. And to mark the day, I'm going to have a half. And I'm going to salute all of you Sovereign Scots. And I'm going to salute Robert. King Robert. And I'm going to salute the nobles of 1320 who transferred our duty to uh, to them from them to make it their duty to us and to give us the ability to remove who does not serve our nation properly because we the people are sovereign and that for me is way above the international recognition and the way that our declaration was moved forward to bring popular sovereignty to the world. So I raise a glass to Robert, I raise a glass to the nobles in 1320 who made we the people the country and who made them the servants to us the people. That notion has travelled worldwide and has continued to travel worldwide. It was the birth, the birth of modern democracy, you could say. So, to Robert and his nobles in 1320, and to you and me, the sovereign people of Scotland, good health. That is why the Declaration of Abroad, Abroad is important to me. Have a nice day. Enjoy the celebrations. There's some good music being played and it's going to be a broad day. I'll maybe get a wee tip and come back on later.